Okay, the next question we have comes from Locutus and he says, or he asks, are there people who are not used to therapy? In other words, is there a chance to return to your old natural testosterone levels after three years, for example, of testosterone replacement therapy? So what's the first part of the question? He said he's, he's not used to therapy. Yeah, I'm not sure what he means by that. He said other people are not used to therapy. Is there a chance to return to your old natural testosterone levels after three years of TRT? So I think maybe he's not getting on with it. Maybe okay, he's not yeah. feeling good. Oh yeah, maybe he wants to come off again. Potentially. Yeah. I mean, the, I think the first thing is if somebody's not used to it or what, whatever he described, if, if you're not feeling good, then potentially there's something else going on. Mm. Or either the, the dosage schedule, frequency, all those sorts of things may need. So I'm guessing he's worked with the doctor. I mean, that, that's something you usually got to sort of figure out within the first year, you know, the getting dialed in, um, you know, finding what works for you, not too high, not too low. Um, do you think maybe it could also be a case of maybe he was an ex bodybuilder, you know, and he screwed his system up and he went on TRT to try and, you know, uh, deal with it and maybe now he thinks he can go back to normal or? Yeah, potentially. Come off it? Yeah, potentially. I mean, it, it, so it, that, answering that part of the question where if, he, if he, he's been suppressed for three years, that, you know, there's, there's a good chance. I mean, the studies show that even, it take, can take some time, but it, it's very personal in terms of amount of suppression you, you sort of. Um, experience whether he's been suppressed before like you said i mean if you took some suppressive hormones or steroids whatever for years prior yeah you may you may have completely irreversibly affected your hormone production um so it's, it is very personal in that aspect so knowing a bit more about the history without knowing that you know it'd be yeah. hard to sort of give you any sort of idea of what the doctors might say you know in that situation um but uh, i mean even if someone wasn't suppressed um still had poor levels obviously started trt um, and then for three years was on therapy. You've, if you stop, obviously you can go through, you know, the, the, like a, a restart program, can you using, using Clomid or HCG or something similar to try and get the signal back first, get the testicles up and running, you know, with the HCG and try and restore whatever the body may actually produce. But then you've also got the three years of, of uh, natural aging I suppose mm -hmm. so you know it, it, even if you manage to get back what the body is fully functionally able to do you've got three years of suppression yeah and you've also got three years of aging so um, you can always try it and you know you've got a backup yeah um, you know but I would say normally if someone's at that point which I've not really seen but because um, usually there's something else going on that maybe isn't testosterone for yeah. example um, that um, needs dealing with um, so maybe he needs to talk to the doctor about getting, I mean, looking at thyroid, look, and we talked about prolactin earlier, I think with, you did. Um, so prolactin, even nutritional you know, deficiencies and yeah. things like that, obviously there are lifestyle factors. Big one, I think, is, is mental health. I mean, um, uh, the, the other things that can benefit mental health. I mean, if you're still experiencing anxiety, low mood, again, we don't really know why he's not getting on with it. Yeah. You know, things like clinical psychology, CBT, things like that, you know, going down that road. I find that, that men and women, when they have their hormones optimized, and they feel better in general, but they've still got some things going on there. They it's feel not better. hormone related, yeah. And it, maybe there was a part hormone related, you know, hormone yeah, exactly. relation there. But actually, when the hormones are better, they they then attempt these things, and it seems to be so much more successful. Mm. You know, some some guys and women that have done that before getting hormones checked and had anxiety or low mood, got their hormones optimized, and then revisiting those same things just you know, blew it away it was it was so much easier the less self-criticism things like that so and i've gone on a bit of a tangent but it, those, those are things i've seen before okay so let's swing back to the question then mm. right so so what so it's possible to um to have your levels return to natural levels it's possible what's the likelihood though you know because you hear stories at least i hear in the community about uh, mm. once you're on trt you're on trt for life mm. is that because the likelihood of you getting natural again is so low i mean it's possible but it's it's more unlikely than likely or, or what? It's really it's hard to say. It's, it's, it's literally individual. on an individual basis. You don't know the history of why. You've got age, you've got lifestyle factors, you've got, you know, why Why do you have, you know, uh, low testosterone production to start with? Yeah. So it's almost you need to you need to try and see. Okay. You know, you may, if, you, if that's your aim, work with the doctor, try and bring it back to normal, um, as it, close to normal. But if you were low to start with, yeah. you know, you needed TRT. Yeah. You know, the doctor would have, would, have, would have thought that was something you needed to try. Um, 
And if you've seen no improvement at all, um, you know, that, then maybe that there's something else there that you need to revisit. But you're only going to get back to where you were before. Yeah, it makes sense. You know? Okay. So that was from uh, Locutus. So thank you for the question.